Cheers. Son of a bitch! This is Jesus along with Alex for the Tap Takeover Podcast and MilwaukeeBeerWeek.com. We're at Good Kind in Bayview, located at 2457 South Wentworth Avenue. We're here for Burger Night with Perennial Artisan Ales from St. Louis. And we are pleased to be joined by BJ, part owner of both Good Kind and Bernhardt's. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, the other night. So Sunday night uh, was Half Acre and Live Music over at Bernhardt's. Yeah. I had a great time. You guys had some amazing beers on tap. For but sure. Tell me about Milwaukee Beer Week and that, that event specifically. Well, that event was... Was, uh, you know, Milwaukee, we've been being a part of, Bernhardt's has been doing a part of Milwaukee Beer Week for the last five or six years, however long we've, it's been uh, running. First few years, I kind of oversaturated myself by doing events every day of the week. So the last few years, I've been cutting back pretty far. Um, I always keep my Central Waters event, which is the every middle Wednesday of every beer week. Uh, but this year, I was fortunate enough to be tied in with Half Acre, who's fairly new to distribution in this area. So uh, we thought it'd be a good fit to kind of bring them up. And since it was a crafts and drafts over the disc- discount event, over at Sir Hall, I thought I'd kind of turn it into sort, sort of unofficial after party. And so rather than just straight up beer focus, I wanted to have a little more entertainment. I knew people would be showing up maybe a little after a few, few beers. So I thought maybe some live music would kind of, you know, brighten the rest of the evening for everybody. So that was the basic uh, idea for Sunday's event. Fantastic. And uh, so you talked about uh, Bernhardt's plus Central Waters. Mm-hmm. Uh, that'll be coming up on Wednesday. Yep. So what what can our listeners expect? What's going to be on tap? What are the big boys? Whoa. We got a lot of stuff. So this event we've been doing every year with uh, Central Waters and it's kind of been growing every year but basically the, the the basic premise of it is we take 16 draft lines and give them whatever we want this year we actually have more we have two casks in addition to the 16 draft we actually have 17 drafts oh, two casks so we actually have 19 different beers from Central Waters this year so it's oh is that to I'm coincide actually, with their 19th anniversary you know what I think it's a happy coincidence nice. for sure but I can list off some of the some of the highlights for sure well the rise style out, uh, the rye barrel stout, obviously the full lineup of the um, bourbon barrel stouts, the rum coconut porter, which I'm excited to try. Nice. I haven't tried myself yet. The, some of the tequila barrel stuff, the El Ganador, uh, which I know Camino did this week, but we'll also be doing the Promise and the Bloody Sunrise. We also have the very last in existence Brandyland, Ginger Brandyland, which is a very special one that we do with Central Waters for our mitten fest that we hold every February. We make a big giant cocktail in used bourbon barrels. One just happens to be an old fashion and one happens to be a ginger brandy we age them in bourbon barrels we empty the barrels out we give the barrels to central waters they fill it with beer and then they give us said beer so we have the very last of our ginger brandy bourbon barrel aged scotch ale basically this is an interesting beer it's kind of got a nice little gingery boozy flavor to it it's really good so we'll be serving that up tomorrow and then i think everybody's always excited about their maple release right now so we have a bourbon maple syrup imperial stout firkin so it's not the draft that has been going around last week but it's sort of a play off of that in a firkin form. Oh, so we'll do a little real man. ale style on that. See, now, now Andy and I, uh, from the podcast, we were actually just out there this past Sunday for the uh, oh, the, cool. big, the big release of the Maple Bourbon Barrel. I can't wait to try that on a firkin. That's, yeah, it'll be nice. That's going to be awesome. It's going to be really cool. So we're excited about that. And then we also will be, uh, I think everybody is excited about these little beers they do called Black Gold or their 19th anniversary stout. I don't know, something like that. So, so Some of the lesser known ones, I <laughs> yeah. guess. But in addition to that, we also do some of the flagships, some of the core brands just because you know at the end of the day what do you want to do you want to slam a couple hhgs or a summerillo or maybe one of their fresh new ipas rift yeah we'll be doing that everything will be on tap for the most part uh right away there'll be a few things we're actually going to do a satellite bar station where we'll have a few extra things tapped a little bit later in the afternoon by four or five and then iron grape barbecue will be there to kind of soak up some of the booze so you can keep drinking yeah so uh let's talk about the uh the event tonight so we're here at good kind uh talking about the perennial tap mm-hmm. takeover that you guys have going on tell us about some of these artisan ales that perennials putting out there uh well we also have a really good relationship with perennials since they since they came into market probably about a year and a half ago two years ago i think now especially here with good kind because i i feel like their beers are very very food friendly like they have some a lot of great wide variety of flavors that really go well with some of the food that comes out of our kitchen here so for this one we wanted to kind of usually for these kind of events we try to do like a sort of like a flight pairing so it'll be little bites of food with like a little splash of beer and those are always been those have been great we've been doing those kind of events since we opened but we thought it might be fun just to kind of turn it around and make it 
simple straight ahead every tuesday at good kind we do our burger and beer night um where for 15 dollars you get a unique delicious burger with a featured beer of the week so it happened to coincide with beer week so we're focusing on perennial so you get a perennial beer we're sort of doing a cubano inspired uh burger tonight so it's gonna be a good uh, delicious night of eating and drinking it's good i can't wait to try it <laughs> so for someone who hasn't uh, been to either bernhardt's or good kind i guess we have the burger night but what else can you tell us about the places well burn Bernhardt's is a straight up bar. We do some frozen pizzas and some chips and stuff, so there's not much of a food focus there other than, you know, every once in a while a food truck will roll up outside or we'll do a special catered event of some sort. You know, we're a really uh, heavy beer focused place. Uh, All craft, 24 lines, two cask lines, always rotating. We also dabble in cocktails and uh, we just kind of a fun corner bar, sort of a classic Milwaukee vibe, the kind of elevated beer selection. Good Kind is a little bit different. It's sort of taken that idea but sort of making a little more grown up with a, a really experimental and fun kitchen like just cranking out some really fun takes on like classic european dishes um you know we like we like to look all over the place but our focus is a french rotisserie that we use and the chefs are trained in italian and spanish and you know we also like to kind of dabble in some of the more nordic cuisine as well so just a little bit of a, a play off of old grandma recipes and then we have a really f- nice draft selection that sort of matches the eclectic kitchen as well so you can find a lot of cool beers on tap whenever you pop in here. We try to keep it as seasonal as possible. Also, we have got a great cocktail program and wine as well. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time. And uh, for a complete list of events, go to MilwaukeeBeerWeek.com. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Uh,